My executive order to stay at home that was issued last month is set to expire on April the 30th. That executive order has done its job to slow the growth of COVID-19, and I will let it expire as scheduled. Now it's time to set a new course, a course that responsibly opens up business in Texas. We will open in a way that uses safe standards, safe standards for businesses, for their employees, as well as for their customers. Standards based upon data and on doctors. So with my new executive order, all retail stores, restaurants, movie theaters, and malls can reopen May the 1st. Now to minimize the spread of COVID-19 during phase one, on the advice of doctors, I am limiting occupancy to no more than 25%. If phase one works while containing COVID-19, phase two will expand that occupancy to 50%. Further increases will be allowed in the future so long as COVID-19 remains contained. Something important to remember, this order allows these businesses to reopen. It does not require them to do so. If a business owner feels unsafe opening at this time, or for other reasons doesn't want to reopen, there's no requirement to do so. Additionally, all museums and libraries can open under the same 25% capacity. However, interactive areas of museums with hands-on exhibits must remain closed at this time. And again, this is permission to open, not a requirement. Some libraries and museums are operated privately or by local governments or universities. It's up to them to decide if they are able to open. The state will work to open its libraries and museums by May 1 or soon thereafter. Now, a lot of business in Texas is done by sole proprietors they can safely return to work now. The guidance in this book and online provides safe standards for sole practitioners. Also, churches and places of worship, they were kept open under the existing executive order, but effective May the 1st, they will be able to expand their capacity even more we do, however, emphasize the importance of safe distancing practices to ensure that church members remain protected from COVID-19. Outdoor sports are also allowed at this time. So long, however, as it involves no more than four participants playing together at any one particular time. And so long as certain distancing practices are followed. Examples of this would be things like golf and tennis. If COVID-19 can be contained in phase one, the goal would be to expand the number of participants in phase two to allow even more sporting activities to be engaged in. All licensed healthcare professionals are allowed to return to work with few restrictions. However, all licensed hospitals still must reserve 15% of capacity for COVID-19 patients. Now, there are some businesses that I want to open, that Texans want open, that the doctors advised were simply not safe enough to open at this particular time. They include barber shops and hair salons, bars and gyms. We are working with our medical team as well as working uh, with members of the industry sectors to open these businesses as soon as possible. My hope is that they will open on or no later than mid-May. Now, safely opening Texas for business requires four things. One, a commitment to continue safe distancing practices that reduce the spread of COVID-19. Two, reliance on doctors and data to provide the safest strategies. 
3. A focus on protecting the most vulnerable from exposure to COVID-19. And 4. A reminder that it is entrepreneurs who drive the Texas economy. They need to be unleashed to restore livelihoods while all of us remain focused on protecting the lives of our fellow Texans. We 